Hello, hello, and welcome back to another music reaction with me, your host, Rachel. I am a avid music lover, Twitch streamer, and singer, and today we are going to be listening to Ren, The Tale of Jenny and Screech. Um, we have listened to Ren before, and I really quite liked it. And uh, I'm excited to hear and also to see what he brings to the table with this one because it is a longer one. This is 13 minutes. Um, and I've heard some good things, but I will uh, assess as we watch. So let's just jump in. It's a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet. She was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old, and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all He, at least in this one, he's, he's really enjoying doing the, um, adding that little bit to the ends of certain phrases that he says that um how do you explain it it's kind of like that rat not not like a a literal rattle sound but just kind of like a um why do words elude me when i need them the most if y'all know what i'm thinking yay <laughs> it's like that um mm -hmm. Like that, just that kind of like back and forth, but he does it um, more open mouth and just just gets a little bit of something to the end of certain phrases that he says, which is fun. Right there, right there. Home all along, she felt One more time. The way that he says it. All along, she felt After soul. Usually she was a right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you call up then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone. Don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch. Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night. She. I don't know if you noticed this, but, or at least this is when I've noticed it. Um, he breaks the fourth wall by looking straight into the camera when he's speaking as Screech. So I don't know if maybe perhaps he himself was screech because they were talking they were talking about a 14 year old girl and boy i believe um so let's see if he looks back into the camera if he looks back into the camera when he's not speaking as screech i want to see if he actually does that statue like a lady shakes stalactite feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night she tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes what the hell are you playing now you playing games with me i swear to fucking god i'll slice the rosy off your cheeks you think i don't mean it go you don't know me the last thing you see will be a boy called screech reach with the sheep that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. 
It was a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanto City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's found somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor, cos she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. That was a very sad, sad story so far, but what he just did was pretty, pretty pretty. It was pretty pretty, just gonna say. It's pretty pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> pretty. Wait, wait, wait. Just times time. before, I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. You can even hear the rustle of his clothes. It's neat how he films these music videos. his knuckles became sore but there's no sign of patrick down at number 54 no refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate with something far more sinister in mind that does away hey babe you in now nothing really i'm just a bit tired listen can i swing around yours for a few moments. I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! <sighs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. It's like a mix of scenes from a like a, a short film or like a movie that he is telling mixed with his almost like his his singing but also almost like his spoken poetry it's this weird like eclectic mix that it's just kind of keeping me on my toes in terms of like I don't actually really know what I'm gonna hear next so this is pretty neat he is just he just goes to like his own rhythm and his own creativity it's very and it's it's good i really like it it's it's something very very different um so let's continue this oh, let's see what happens to screech fuck's sakes sorry i started it on that Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. 
The shrill cry of justice cut in like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that's his foot free. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Ah, story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Using the camera in that way can be extremely more well, not more profound, but it just builds on top of what you're trying to say. And it just hits harder because now not only are you hearing what he's saying, but you're also visualizing it and it puts you in the shoes of that person. It's again, I don't know what to expect. It's been great. Violet. The song is called Jenny and the Screech. Who's Violet? <laughs> This looks eerily similar. The hands of time for Violet's tale Sure, her mother knew. 
Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by your welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl, and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was the wrong, and the Isha knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance, the devil comes to dine. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tiring. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Oy. Um, where are he? Where are he? Where is he getting these stories? Um, are these like what? It's I, the the whole time I'm watching this, I. I also think to myself as well, like, how this music uh, story uh, video choices, like, uh, like angles and, um, like, all of the choices that he's making in this music video and all this, like, the storytelling that he is doing, it all comes down to something that are choices that he's made for it. And it's very interesting when you think about it that way because it's like, when you make stuff like this, it's all building blocks. You decide one thing and then you're like, oh, and this and this, and they all connect together into this fabric um, of what we're watching now. And it's just, this is a lot in this one music video. So it's um, just like a colossal project to take on. Anyways, it's also really cool how each story he starts with um, just like sounds, like just like just raw vocal. Um, and what I mean by that is like not words. And then he also starts with uh, a piece on the guitar, which is interesting because each one is a little bit different, which maybe is probably just a sign of or a reflection of um, each different character. And for each character, I noticed, because it wasn't just Screech, um, he looks straight into the camera. It's very, very cool. Very cool what he's doing. Why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent. Things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, 
She was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City. Far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington. Just lost the fight to stay alive. A tragedy or a miracle. It happened on these very streets. Two twins aligned side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. It's a lot. A lot? That's a lot. That's heavy. And... A very interesting story. Um, a very sad and tragic one. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just curious if... Did he get that from any sort of, uh, I guess, true happening. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to be, w in, like, like he knew, but I mean, what, is it based off of something that maybe he heard in the news or something like that? It's very tragic, um, but very well done, vocally interesting, um, I love it when he just, like, goes on the guitar. It's great. Um, and just, like, really good use of, like, very fun use of breaking the fourth wall and using the the cameraman as well to, uh, in to be included in the story itself. Uh, but, yeah, that's that was good. Thank you so much for being here. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so down below. And if you want to hang with me and my Twitch fam, there's also a link down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.